She feared the Lord. But a woman that feared the Lord. Every time we went to take communion, when it was time to do our, our devotional period and sing our songs, you can see that she clearly feared the Lord. She would begin to close her eyes and look up and, and begin to say, she, she feared the Lord. There's but a woman that feared the Lord. It said that she will. She will be praised. She don't need nobody to pat on the back. Amen. She don't need anybody to call her name. Amen. She don't need anybody to acknowledge her for doing it. It says a woman that fears the Lord, the praise don't come. Amen. If you never come down here, when he calls my name, all oh, that's enough praise all by itself. That she shall. She shall be praised. I bet you the other day, last week, when, when the Lord called Sister Essie Cousin, the scripture tells me that the angels in heaven, that they begin to praise the Lord, got another soldier coming on home, that she shall be praised. If I just live right, it doesn't matter what they say about me down here. If I live right and hang in there, when the Lord called my name, that the angels in heaven will begin to rejoice because another soul is coming on home. The woman that feared the Lord, she shall be free. Oh, then he says in verse 31, he says, give her the fruit of her hand. Mean reward her for what she has done. Yeah. In my time, my three years, I had the opportunity to, to serve as a pastor. Whenever I was able to stop by the nursing home to, to take communion. Yes, sir. Whenever the children during the 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 What's the thing we do for Christmas? Carolyn. Whenever we went over there for the Christmas Carolyn and took the little gifts and, and sang the song, she would let everybody know when they were sitting out there in front. This is my church. Yeah. <laughs> this is my church. And this is my pastor. Yeah. It said, give her the fruit of her hands. I can remember not even a couple, not even a couple weeks ago. Probably just about two, three weeks ago, we had the opportunity to set a table up in the back of worship, and we had Sister Geraldine Long had gone to the hospital, and, and Essie Cullen, she was she was turning she was turning a hundred years old the next day. Set a card back there in the back and told everybody, everybody sign, sign on your way out, on your way in, sign that card. And, and that next day on that Monday, we were able to take her a car full of signatures and you couldn't even read the words. Signatures all over the place, giving her the fruit of her hand. You served for so long and gave her a nice big bouquet of flowers to, to celebrate her 100th birthday. You served for so long. You served for so long and here's the fruit of your hands. Family members driving and traveling and, and coming and showing love. Giving you the fruit of your hands. Reward you and celebrate what you've done. The second part of verse 31 says, And let her own works praise her in the gates. Did you hear what I said? It said, Let her own works praise her in the gates. Now we're really stepping toward reality. We're about to talk about something. We're about to talk about these gates. It said, Let her own works. Praise her in the gates, and we and 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 and, 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 the, and the part about it when I when, when, when we were putting put in this sermon and and, and I looked at that out while we just talked about works a couple days ago. Some about the works they gonna count for something one day. Some about the works they they gonna speak one day. Said the whole works praise her in the gates. Now let me talk about these gates for a moment. Then I'm turning you loose. And let her own works praise her in the gates. Mm -hmm. See, now we're talking about what's real in life. Yeah. I heard someone say, only what you do yeah. for God will last. Yeah. And the real deal is my 
sister in her work. She is saying that she put in her work, but I need to deal with these gates. She put the work in, but we need to talk about these gates. Uh, that's going to be that her works are going to be praised at. In Revelation, the 21st chapter, uh, verses 9 through 12, uh, the scripture says, And there came unto me one uh, of the seven angels, uh, which had the seven vials uh, full of the seven plagues. Uh, and I talked uh, and talked with me, saying, uh, Come hither, uh, I will show thee the bride uh, and the lamb, lamb's wife. Uh, and ten says, uh, And he carried me away. Uh, in the spirit uh, to a great and high mountain. Uh, we're about to talk about these gates uh, where her works will be praised. Uh, they say they show me the great city, uh, the holy Jerusalem, uh, descending out of heaven uh, from God. Uh, and the scripture goes on to say, uh, having the glory of God uh, and her light uh, was like unto a stone uh, most precious, uh, even like a jasper of stone, uh, clear as a crystal. Uh, and in verse 12, uh, it says, And uh, had a wall uh, great and high, uh, and had twelve gates uh, at the gates, uh, twelve angels, uh, and the name written uh, thereon, uh, which are the names uh, of the twelve tribes uh, of the children of Israel. Uh, the last night, uh, Yeah. <laughs> 